I have been saving this recipe for a long, long time. Now, one of my favorite foods in the world is pancakes. Are pancakes? Is pancakes? Whatever. You get it. I love pancakes. So, we're going to combine the fruit that's in, in, in season, which is uh, peaches, pear, other stone fruits with pits. You can do with apricots, whatever you want, uh, with, and make some pancakes. And I'm going to show you kind of how to do it and how to kind of do it uh, well. Now, when you use fruit in your pancakes, uh, you want to make sure to peel it. Because sometimes the peel is going to be a little, the texture can be not great. So, let's first uh, take the, the pit out of the, the peach. There's a couple of different ways you can peel a, a, a peach, depending on how ripe it is. Now, since we're hoping what you're using is very ripe, I'm going to show you how to do it while it's really ripe. So, what you want to do is you want to get a knife, it's really a little small on this, and try to just kind of just cut and try to peel. If you can't get it to peel, mm. just very carefully try to do it. This is definitely something you want mom and dad to help you with. So, so uh, something you can use to make pancakes all, uh, make fruit pancakes with all year round are bananas, especially overripe bananas. If you got a gooey, mushy banana that's too ripe to eat, just go ahead, mash it up, and throw it in your uh, uh, pancakes. Now. If you want to really get in there with, you can get in there with your hands and you can really just sort of scrunch and squeeze and pull. Mm. You know, right now fruit's in, in season, so it's really ripe, so you can kind of push and, and squeeze the flesh away from the, uh, the peach. Then I would kind of cut them in little cubes, maybe about um, eighth inch across. It's going to give you a nice, nice flavor peach. You're gonna get it in in the uh, pancakes, but it's not gonna be so big. It's gonna be unwieldy. You can mash them if you want, especially if they're overripe. This is a great way to get rid of overripe fruit. But these are actually just perfect. So I'm gonna have these little tiny little uh, cube, uh, fl cube flavor, flavor, flavor cubes, flavor cubes, ready to go. Okay, boom. So. Up, one cut, one cut. Okay, great. So, I got some peaches. I'm gonna wipe off my hands. Now, why do I have a pack mix here, right? You know, this is a cooking class. Should we cook it from scratch? Yes, you can make pancake mix from scratch, but I've always found that the uh, the store bought boxes are fine. I've had no real issues with them before. So. Basically, the um, you want to put in about 50% more pancake mix than you do uh, water or liquid. You can use milk. I typically use milk, but I notice something on the back of this pack that may go, hmm, <laughs> it's a water or seltzer. Hmm, water or seltzer. Now, I know from my Jewish brethren that using seltzer in matzo balls helps them make them even fluffier. So today we're actually getting the can of orange LaCroix, let that orange flavor mix with peach <laughs> flavor, let the bubbles fizz it up a little extra, we're going to see what happens, okay? I think we're going to be impressed. So, when you do this, feel free to use a measuring cup. I've done this about a million times, so I know how to do it by feel. So I'm going to put in about a cup of pancake mix, and about two-thirds of a cup or half a can of salsa. So, then what do you do? Now, always put in less liquid than you think you need, or less powder, whatever. Just You can always add to get the consistency right. Now, you want to sort of lightly and slowly bring it together because you don't want to whip it so hard that there's no chunks. Chunks are good. So, if I see that, oh, it's way too water. Let's put some more, let's put some more of this stuff in. Okay, pancakes is great. If you want thinner pancakes, you want thinner pancakes, make the batter thinner. If you want thicker pancakes, make the batter thicker. I like thicker pancakes. I think that's, that's sort of my style, big thick pancakes. <laughs> so here we go, I'm gonna put some more batter in there. I kind of like the batter to be like um, the consistency of slightly thicker than paint, maybe like glue, like glue, if you ever get glue out of like a, like a thing and you can see it drip, that's sort of what I wanna see here. Okay, we're getting there. I'm gonna put a little bit more batter in there. Just a touch, just a, just a little touch. There we go, just, just a touch. Just a touch. 
And um, there we go. Perfect. Now, if you're doing this for breakfast and you have bacon, one of my favorite things to do is you cook the bacon first, and then you cook the, pa the, the, the pancakes in the bacon grease. It helps you save, um, it really helps you save on, on, on oil or other fats, and it, and it gives a really great flavor, a really great flavor to your pancakes. But today, I'm just going to use normal butter. As I always say, fat is good. Where are the butter? So, <laughs> no worries. Just take a tablespoon of butter and pop, put it in the pan. Move it around, move it around. You don't have to use your finger. Let me use my fingers now, though. Here we go. Let it melt and coat the pan. So I'm to crank up that heat. <clears throat> so, you can kind of keep giving the pancakes a loose stir. You're going to make sure that everything's going to go nice and good. So keep moving that butter, moving that butter. Pancakes are one of the first things I actually learned how to make. Pancakes and eggs. I used to help my parents to cook breakfast in the morning. So, a little something about me. Now you guys know. Pancakes are a great way. Uh, they're a great way. They're really easy to make. They don't cost a lot. So if you screw up a whole pan of them, it costs about six cents to make some more. It's absolutely no big deal. And um, my lovely assistant, will you give me a spatula, please? It's right there. Oh. Pancakes so, were the first thing you made for me, too. Oh, yeah. Well, what can I say? I know my, <laughs> I know my strengths. Okay, so, medium heat. And just, uh, you can use um, a ladle or a spoon if you want. I usually just pour them out, but let me show you a good technique, right? This also is a good way for you to be able to figure out exactly how much each pancake is so you can make them the same size. So, there we go. Now you don't need to move it. It's going to cook itself. As you can see, we got lots, lots of peaches in there. And what you want to look is you want to start seeing all of the bubbles popping on this side in here. And you want to see the sides starting to get firm, and the bubbles sort of pop, start popping through. So it usually takes two or three minutes. So while we wait, let's clean up our station. Cleaning as you go while cooking is very important. Otherwise, you're going to be left with a giant mess at the end of your meal. Flour everywhere. The, the pips on the floor, just pandemonium. So let's just kind of... Exactly, yeah, see? And you can sort of see the, bub the, the butter browning and bubbling up on the sides. You can see the bubbles kind of coming through. But again, the telltale sign is you can... Oh, shoot. Oops. <laughs> Just touch the side, but you can still kind of touch that and you see it's still wet on the side of it. Um, okay, so let's finish wiping down the table. Always help mom and dad clean up. There's no, there's no uh, way, there's no, 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 no road to get more presents from your parents and help them clean up. A little hand for me. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you make your birthday extra special. Clean up the day before. Okay, so if you're a beginner, I would say this pancake is a little big to flip as a beginner because you're going to kind of need to do it a little quickly. Uh, you want to start with something that's about half this size, but you know, that's another good sign when you can sort of do that. That means that on the other side, it's uh, it's cooked. So, but we don't want to flip it yet because it's going to send batter everywhere. It's going to be insane. It's going to be too crazy. Oh, mamma mia. So, let's give it another few seconds just to really sort of let it cook through a little bit more. See, now as you can see, I touched the sides. The sides aren't quite gooey. They aren't sort of sticking up. They're a little more bouncy. And you can see that it starts cooking around the, the pancake, the cake. So, now let's do a little flip. Boom. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And one of the good things about using butter as opposed to oil is that it gives you a really nice, um, gives you a really nice sort of crust on it. I really like the coloring you get from butter, the flavor. I, I, I love butter, okay? I love butter. <laughs> I can't say I can't say I can't say enough good things about it. It's great. It's good for you. Eat 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 your butter, kids. Okay. So now we just simply wait for it to cook. Now you're gonna want to be extra careful because when you take your pancakes off, because there's lots of liquid in the um in the peaches, that those peaches are gonna retain heat for a lot longer than it would no than 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 um. Gee, I had such a brain fart today. 
Oh, it's going, to, it's going to take you a lot longer than the pancake. So even though the pancake may seem cool, the peaches in the pancake might still be very hot. So be careful. Blow on your food. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do one quick flip just to make sure. Okay. And see, now when it's cooked, you can flip it a thousand times. But you don't need to. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I broke it. <laughs> you know what? Oh. That's the good thing about pancakes, though. Even if you break them, they still are delicious. Now... Let's cut this in half. Let's see what we got here. And you look inside, it's perfectly cooked and you have these little pockets of these little perfect peaches in here. Now I think this is a great recipe you can do with any fruits. You can do it with apples, you can do it with bananas, you can do it with, uh, heck, I've never done it with cherries, but I bet, I bet it'd be great. Um, pears, pears, I wouldn't do pears. Pears seems like a little too much, but Right now, it's summer, enjoy the summer, and, and enjoy the fruit of summer. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing. So, enjoy pancakes, clean up your mess, hug your parents, have a good day, all right.